day, mate. How are we? Doing well, man. How are you? Good. Welcome. Thank you. Did the climb up here yesterday, sweat, last night? Sweat suit, or which one? One that goes, yeah, I think from to Pulu up to Gordon. Up to Gordon. 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 Just jazz it up a little bit, eh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Take the Kiwi yeah. out of it. <laughs> Gordon. I do think that this course, uh, it's similar amount of altitude gain. Um, a couple of like longer, more consistent climbs. Um, obviously, those descents as well are you know, longer and a bit more technical. So, yeah, I would be thinking that, um, yeah, it's, it's not as, as steep and punchy as maybe I would like, but um, it's still, you know, any of the bigger guys, uh, it's going to take them a lot of energy to get up those climbs. Um, it's going to pull from them a lot, and I think it's going to affect a lot of people's runs. So, um, yeah, for the way I see it is that it's a pretty similar opportunity to St. George to... You know, have a good race and it probably suits my racing style a lot more so yeah I think that if you find yourself in a group or if I find myself in a group that I feel like is going to be riding really consistent and is a good group for me to ride then 100% grip it rip it and hopefully have some locals that I can follow their lines and stuff like that but otherwise I also think that it's a course that if you end up sort of solo or um, by yourself for a while it's it's not actually a bad thing. It's not going to make a huge amount of difference to your ride. It's going to be uh, super fast, but all pedalable at the same time. So definitely going to have to work it. You know, it's not just to sit back and um, let gravity do its thing. It's uh, going to be a you know pedal when you can, keep the bike up to speed, minimise dropping speed, minimise braking on those corners because every time you brake and pull up a couple of k an hour then uh trying to get that momentum going it's uh yeah it's not really steep enough where it's just going to carry you away again you're going to have to pedal quite hard to get up and going again so um impressive tunnels beautiful um good commitment i like it yeah, yeah. beautiful day yeah incredible. for sure have you done the descent yet? Nah, nah, we're just okay, well, about to drop in and go check it out. Uh, we are in the middle of nowhere in France, uh, just a little bit north of Nice, uh, before one of the big descents, kind of the iconic part of the course. So, uh, this is what makes it fun. <laughs> How are you feeling? Uh, as good as it can be. Um, I mean, for the most part, the work's done, and so now it's just kind of getting used to the course and preparing the body. Uh, Traveling from the U.S. definitely has taken a little bit of a toll. I know it's not quite as far as some people. Um, so just recovering and getting the last couple sessions in and we'll see what it's like and enjoying uh, being in France as much as possible. It's your first world championship as a pro and you were an age group world champion last year, yes? Yes. Feeling any added pressure coming in this as a pro? Nope, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, I'm just enough under the radar that hopefully there's very little pressure and no expectations, which is exactly what I like. I love it, dude. Good luck, man. Thank you. Okay, cool. cool. Into yeah. it. Are you going to yeah. go do the descent now? Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I have someone to follow. <laughs> <laughs> is this your coach? Yeah. <laughs> Huh? Just woke up. You just woke up? 8.30. Sleeping in. What time is the race start? Before 8.30, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> How long did you live in France before moving to America? Three weeks old to 19. Look at that view. Oh, yeah. So this is like a true home race for you? Yes. <laughs> As you can see, yeah. I did the Ironman. That was my first Ironman last year, in Nice 2022. Uh, I mean, I won, so it was pretty good, but I think it wasn't my best performance. I'll have to be much better this year, so. Yeah. Competition, a little bit higher. Little yeah, bit. definitely much higher. I mean, it was a good first Ironman, but uh, I had a thing where I, I lost my water at K20, and I didn't have water for 45 minutes till three, three quarters of the climb. So that kind of hurt me, I think. How? What year is this from? Uh, is this your dad's? Maybe 98. World Championship. 
It must be a 98 or 2003. What do you think is going to be the like ultimate test on the course for this, this world championship? Uh, well, first we have to see if it's going to be hot. Because I think a lot of people won't be prepared if it's uh, really hot. And, uh, I mean, you just have to be good, a complete rider on the bike. You have to be good uphill, but the main uphill is too early in the bike that people will be really tired. And what's nice is it's pretty gradual, so I don't think it's, uh, you don't have to change pace too much. But then there's kind of a long plateau with a lot of hills, shorter hills, that you can kind of take in TT. But if you're tired by then, and that's when you get tired, it's about around K100, then uh, that's where you can start losing time. And that's a bit before the downhill. Then there's one more 20 minute climb and then it's the last downhill. So it's, it's going to be hot. How does that heat compare to something like Kona? I mean, how I was here last week, it's comparable. Yeah, yeah my brother came from the plane and he literally said that. He was like, oh, it feels like Kona last year. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. yeah. Comment on dit welcome to France? Bienvenue en France. Vive la France. Vive la France. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me how you're feeling coming into Nice. Well, I'm very excited obviously because uh, it's, uh, it's the first time for me ever doing a world championship for Ironman. Uh, it's been a long time since we had a Dutchie uh, do the Ironman world championship. So I'm very uh, happy to be the one uh, uh, that's able to do it again uh, and it's in a country I love racing and it's uh, I, I love the people I love the language so uh, I, I couldn't be more excited to get going so you've never raced a world championship so what are you expecting uh, a lot of pain obviously but that's a good thing uh, and uh, I hope uh, the atmosphere will be uh, will be great in the race it's gonna be uh, something different I hope uh, but besides that, uh, a big challenge racing against some of the, the names uh, I looked up to when I was a little kid. The obvious one is uh, Jan Ferdino, uh, with uh, him having his last race here. Uh, and um, it's the only opportunity I'll ever get to race against him. Uh, what do you think about Nice and like the course? Uh, I've seen everything except the uh, the swim course because I haven't done a, a sea swim yet. But the bike course is extremely challenging. Uh, I think uh, I've seen a lot of people talk about it online, underestimating how hard it's actually going to be. But the, the, the climbs, descents, and even the hard parts that are uh, straight in between uh, are really something that's going to challenge us all, I think, on race day. And then on the, the run course, by the time we'll get out there, uh, it's going to be incredibly hot and uh, no shadow to be found on the promenade. So uh, it's definitely going to be a very difficult course, I think. But a world championship course should be difficult. Absolutely, yeah, it should be challenging. So uh, that's uh, something to look forward to. Uh, where do you put your chances for race day? <sighs> difficult to uh, to say. Um, I'd be very happy with uh, like over the moon with the top 15. My dad uh, got top 10 three times, I believe. So that's obviously a cool challenge to, to try and beat. It's a great experience to be able to do this. I'll see where I'm up and I'll just give it my all. <laughs> so Ironman Nice champion. Yeah. <laughs> that yeah. feel pretty special. Yeah, yeah, it was very nice course and it was very good thing because yes, it's only my third Ironman or so. So I've done two Ironman the last year. I've done front four and after Kona for the first time. And yes, to win at home it's very special. I live here since uh, three years with my girlfriend now. You gotta feel like you maybe have a bit of a home court advantage. You know, not only did you win here, but you do live here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but I think it's a good idea to have done uh, Iron Man yeah. in June too. Also, because it's not normal to uh, sleep at home just before the race, for example. So it's a little bit weird. So, yes. Do you think you can win this race by breaking away on the bike course, or do you think it's gonna come down to a race? on the run? Um, I think it's difficult to, to to tell because it's the first time for the World Championship and I think for all pro and also for age group it's difficult to, to know the strategy. Do you feel any added pressure going into a World Championship? 
No, no, I don't feel a lot of pressure because uh, I, I'm um, um, only 24 years old. So, yes, uh, I learn each day at the training because the Ironman distance, it's very difficult. And my goal is to, to give the best. Uh, I know I have a lot of qualities, for example, on the bike, on this bike course. And yeah, I need to be patient. I think uh, it's important to focus on me for, for the race.